I'm Resat. I hope this video will please you. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I love you. An Italian Dodge dethroned Toyota's sales king. A deafening silence follows. An open secret. Then the world, and Americans in particular, went crazy for SUVs. Anytime you can charge more for something that already exists, automakers realized that creating sporty SUVs and crossovers meant extra dollars in the profit column. A new genre was born, and it seems that performance-oriented SUVs are now more popular than ever. So much so that even the Toyota RAV4 Prime has a sporty variant, the XSE. In today's comparison test, Toyota's bestseller takes on the brand new 2024 Dodge Hornet RT. What exactly is a 2024 Dodge Hornet, you might wonder? Start here with Scott Evans' first drive of the Hornet, where he describes the type of customer interested in this vehicle. It's the kind of person who cares about having the quickest, most powerful, toughest-looking car in the class, even if that class includes the Honda CR-V and Toyota RAV4. What a great setup for this comparison, right? The Hornet is smaller than the Ray V4. Its wheelbase is about 2 inches shorter. The Dodge is more than 4 inches shorter in height and nearly 200 pounds lighter, which is usually a good starting point for sportiness. Nevertheless, I believe the term for the sporty Hornet's origin story is less than noble. Perhaps less than noble, with a stint at an Italian finishing school is a better way to put it. The Toyota Ray V4 needs much less introduction, as it was the best-selling car in the U.S. in 2022, with more than one million sold. The Ray V4 Prime we're looking at today is the plug-in hybrid, PEV, version, which, according to the EPA, can travel 42 miles on the battery alone. When combined, the Hornet RT offers 288 GP and 383 LBFP of torque. On paper, at least, the numbers are impressive. As for aesthetics, the Dodge easily takes the prize, especially in Acapulco Gold. A color other than ubiquitous white, just kidding, it's called Wind Chill Pearl, might have helped the Toyota somewhat, but we still find the company's aggressive Robotech styling somewhat forced and inelegant. Oh yes, neither vehicle is easy on your wallet. The Toyota arrived with a $52,844 price tag. Not too long ago, that was BMW 5 Series territory. However, keep in mind that as of March 2023, the average price of a new car is $48,000. Do either of these vehicles scream, I cost more than $1.50K when you look at them? Not on the outside, although we're open to the idea that we might just be old and out of touch. And 